Today I'm going to show you how to connect the shotgun microphone and duplex cable to the Sony EX1 camera. Plug the male end of the XLR cable into channel 1 on the audio input block. Set channel 1 and channel 2 inputs to mic plus 48. Plus 48 volts, also known as phantom power, must be supplied to the microphone for it to function properly. Set channel 1 and 2 to manual. Set both channel 1 and 2 to external. To listen, plug your headphones into the monitor jack and adjust the monitor levels using this button on the camera's handle. Now let's take a look at the internal menu. Push the menu button at the side, and the menu screen will display on the LCD monitor. Use the selection slash set button and scroll to the musical note labeled audio set. Then toggle to the audio input section using the selection slash set button on the top handle. Set the automatic gain control or AGC link to separate it. The wind filters should be turned off and trim both channels to minus 59 dBU. For CTPR507, scroll down to external channel select, then switch to the channel one setting. The advantage of the channel one setting is it allows you to record a safety track on channel two. Let's toggle to larger audio meters and I will illustrate this concept. Press the status button below the camera's handle. Then toggle to the audio page to find larger audio meters. Audition the microphone and using the record level controls for channel one, set your desired level. Channel one should be active in both meters. The safety track volume level should be slightly lower, approximately four to six dB. A safety track as seen on channel two is a duplicate recording of channel one at a slightly lower level. This is a backup to your primary recording on channel one in case any distortion occurs. Not to worry though, during post-production, you'll be able to replace the distorted audio with a portion of the undistorted safety track that was recorded on channel two. Now you're ready to record.